man. Hello, world! I'm Martin Wright from Margo's Dog Training up in Boston, and this is Henry. Henry is 11 week old. Border Terrier puppy. We're gonna do some handling. Let's go. First thing I wanna do is I wanna um, get Henry kind of used to being handled by people. He's already used to it because his owners did come to our puppy kindergarten for about three weeks. But even if he, they didn't, at this age, we need to socialize the puppy to being held and hold, held by people um, on a regular basis. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my hand underneath the chest. I like to, especially with a large puppy, I like to kick my leg out like that. And then I'm gonna bring the puppy into this position. Um, this is a restraint position. It is important that, you know, in the early socialization period of our dogs, that we um, practice restraint with them because the vets are going to restrain them and groomers are going to restrain them. Um, once he's in this position, what I want to do, a lot of dogs will be really excited, but what I want to do is I just want to wait for a little bit and let him calm himself down, right? From here, I want to get him used to us touching his paws. So right there, we see there's play biting which is normal for a puppy. Um, that's not so bad. I'm gonna go again. Excellent. Sometimes I ignore it. Um, there, he's doing it again. When he does that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide my hands up here behind his ears, and I'm gonna wait here and let him calm down again. Right? After he calms, I'm gonna have the hand on the chest, and I'm gonna slowly just go right back to that paw. I'll wait here, freeze my hand, then I'll start touching the nails. You can see here that he's like, I wanna get out of here. That's okay. He has to stay though. From here, I'm gonna switch to the other paw. Wait. Good boy. And I wanna make sure I touch the nails here, flip against the nails, get in the pads, all those kind of things. Of course, he has back paws, so I have to reach all the way back there to get him because if we only touch the front paws, the puppy will be used to us touching only front paws, but they will not be used to us touch handling their back paws. So it's important that we do that. After that's done, I'm gonna hold on the chest again. He's starting to get up, so I'm gonna give him space and I'm gonna just, just rest my hand on his rear. Once he, um, once he goes back into that sit, I'm gonna just take that space away. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check out these ears. Um, Whenever I wanna wash a puppy's ears, I wanna make sure I flip my ear up, I put the washcloth here, and we just wash like this. Nothing goes inside the puppy's ears. Really, I wanna get the puppy used to a little bit of pulling, a little bit of manipulation of the ear. He does not mind that. You can see that he was much more worried about his paws than he is about his ears. So that would mean if I'm handling him for the next few weeks, I'd handle the paws a lot. Right? Another thing I want to do is I want to move the puppy's head around. I want to control the head. That's something that humans do a lot. Um, we hold the puppy's face and we move their heads around. Um, I don't do it with my dogs personally, and I don't think my clients do it too much with their dogs because we talk about how rude that can be, but we want to get him used to that. Oh, see, he gets a little bit nervous about that. Good boy. Excellent. Next thing we're going to do is I'm going to open this puppy's mouth. Um, I hope Frank is able to get a real good close-up on this. So what I want to do is I want to put my hand on the puppy's chest and then my other hand I'll flip it up so that way it's right underneath his chin. I'll use these two fingers and I will tickle right at his teeth. Right there it's open and a lot of the times when his mouth is open I want to stick a treat in here. Excellent. <laughs> Um, and cut. Are you sure he's 11 weeks old? Are these adult teeth that are coming in here? Did he lose teeth? Did he lose any teeth? You haven't found any? His teeth, for some reason, are not razor sharp. They almost feel like adult teeth. Yeah. Okay. So once again, we want to be able to open the puppy's mouth pretty easily. A lot of these things, I'll do it one or two or three. Hi, buddy. It's good to see you. A lot of these things, I'll do one or two or three times as I'm practicing it. And then I'll get up and go do something else, you know? So, so this time, I'm going to have a treat in my hand. I, actually, this being such a small puppy, I could actually, and with experience, I could actually hold him and open his mouth with the same hand, right? So I'll go here. Mouth is open. 
in goes the treat, and then I cover um, just as if I was giving them a pill. I just wanna practice that. We're always taking things out of our puppy's mouth. So the easier it is for us to open the mouth, the better. And also, we're always taking things away from the puppy. So if I could open the mouth and give him something nice, then that is always nice as well. It's always something that I, I feel good about to be able to open and give something nice. Another thing we have to do is we have to show this puppy that we could touch him all over his body. So I'm gonna pick up the front end here. Here's puppy play biting, which is natural. He stops pretty quick, which is good. I'm gonna pick up the front end here. He starts doing it again. I'm gonna go back to this. Just hold and give him a minute. The reason I hold here is because when my hands are right here, he cannot play bite me. If he wiggles, I could wiggle with him, right? But he can't play bite me. I give him an opportunity to calm down. And then generally I go right back to doing what I was doing, which is touching his undercarriage here, right? Getting him used to that. Sometimes I start with just firm press and then I might do a little patting on the belly, a little tickling. Just that way he's used to it. I want to get into the inside of the groins as well. Um, I want to get to his private parts to make sure that he understands that wherever I touch him, it is okay. Here's a little play biting. When that happens, my hand goes to his chest. I bring my hands back behind his ears and I let him settle. That's going to happen. It's going to happen more with a young puppy than an older dog when we're doing handling exercises. All right, so we did underneath, um, we did his ears, we checked those out. Um, what I'm gonna do now is a quick capillary refill test. Gonna need a close up here, Frank. So capillary refill is pretty fun, it's pretty good to do. Um, the thing is that if you look at his gums right now, you can see that they're nice pink. If I press on them and then I release, they turn white. I don't know if you could see that in, in the camera, but they turn white and then they turn back pink again. I wanna know the rate of that. After when I know that he's refreshed and hydrated, I press here and then I release, right? A lot of the times you could, by doing that, you could check how quickly the capillaries are refilling. This is a really good thing to do if you want to check if your dog is dehydrated or, um, or if your dog is going into shock. Another way to check for dehydration is the skin pinch test. Just like us humans, if you pinch our skin and it drops quickly, that means we're hydrated pretty good. Um, with a dog like him, some dogs are really furry dogs, it's hard to do. If I pinch the skin though, I can see the skin, and if I, I know the rate that it drops back, if I have an idea of that, then I could tell how hydrated a pup is that way as well. What else do we have to do here? We have to pull the tail. We always have to pull tails. There he goes. <laughs> and that's all, I don't need to do much of this. Just a little wiggle, a little pull. Um, is just to get him used to it, get him used to having his tail handled, that's important. While we're here, I wanna practice also um, how vets would hold a young pup like him, right? Or the vet tech. What they're gonna do is they're gonna hold underneath the belly and around the chin. Usually the dog will be on a table and they're gonna hold like that and like that, especially as he gets bigger and stronger, right? Right now you could kind of just hold him here and that's fine. Um, final thing we wanna talk about is picking up a puppy. Whenever I pick up a dog, I wanna make sure I don't pick them up like a small child by the front appendages. I wanna support the whole puppy. So one hand under the chest, under the belly, and I lift the dog like this. Even if it's a grown dog, a big dog, I always support the whole dog as we're picking them up. All right, so that is very important. Whoa, that was fun. That little puppy Henry has a lot of energy. The thing about handling is that it's very important in the early socialization period with a dog. It's important that we handle our puppies every day. It's important that we get down on the floor with our puppies every day. The exercises I show, I would really want the puppy to get used to them. So by doing it every day and also by noticing which ones are the weakest ones. Prepare for play biting, it's gonna happen. If my hands are really sensitive, then I will put on gloves before I do anything. You know, but we wanna make sure that we teach the puppy that they cannot use their mouth to get their way. If they don't really love having their paws touched, using their mouth, we wanna show them that it's ineffective. Um, and that we will end up back touching their paws again. 
And then the more that we do it and the more that we show that that isn't effective, the pup will trust us more because nothing bad happens. And then it will get easier and easier over the lifetime of the dog. So do your handling exercises every day. If you like what you see here today, then definitely subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up. Check out ArgosTraining.com for more information about Argos dog training and about me, Martin Wright. Till next time, enjoy your dog.